It is so obvious you don't know what you want. What do you mean? Look, the last time I had a call and I went out, you tagged that as cheat. And now that I am sitting right in front of you, for you to even hear what I am saying, you are, you are calling this disrespect. To be educated, but I'm so frustrated. Hello to my loneliness. I guess that in the real is bliss. Take me back to before the noon. Rewind, take it out of cue. Yes, baby. See that? Oh, you. Um, she is fine. Just a little bit. I am sure she will be pleased with herself. Predict? Honey, would you like to visit the hospital? Marcus, I don't need your help. Please, what? Stop it! Please, she's very sorry for talking to me this way. She's just going to Okay. I'll be back. Joy! Joy! Oh, you're expecting. I'm tired! I'm tired! I'm tired with my. What food? The sports food. Baby girl. I threw them away. There's no food in this house. Like, seriously. <sighs> Marcus, there is no food in this house. We are sleeping like that. There is no food in this house. Is that supposed to be the answer to my question? Yes, Marcus. What were you expecting? You always come back home late at 11 p.m. What were you expecting? That I'll keep it for you. Did I? Did I even say something wrong? Yes. Everything you said is wrong. Everything, Marcus. You are choosing all the food that you eat. This morning I prepared food for you and you intentionally left it and went to the office. And you are here asking me, where is my food? And you expect me to run and bring it to you whilst you come home at 11 p.m. Why? I only asked for my food. You only asked for your food? What is the time now? What is the time? Check your time. What is the time? Okay. 11 p.m. Sorry. Who does that? No, Marcus. Do you something Joy. What? What? I'm tired. I'm tired of this relationship. I'm tired. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm Wow. So you can say all these things to your man? Joy, what were you expecting? Huh? No, this is not right at all. Men need respect no matter what they do. The best way for you to ask him is calmly. It could be he's not feeling well or loss of appetite. Joy, I am not saying this. Seriously, I've been asking Marcus the reason why he's doing this. But he's not giving me any tangible reason. And you expect me to fold my arms and watch him. No! You, know, you won't say anything when you keep on attacking him. You call this attack? I'm attacking Marcus. Seriously? Oh God. Yes, he's the man of the house. Oh Provides God. you what you cook. He choose to eat or not. Joy, when you go to your house, then you behave like that with your man. Seriously? My man will go out and work and come home around 11 p.m. not a.m. 11 p.m. and you expect me to fold my arms or go to the kitchen cook for him to come and eat and go and sleep no i won't do it this is dating relationship and he's doing this this is my house and i choose to do what i want to do you're my friend you came to visit me so don't you just stick your nose in my business i like to be educated but I'm so frustrated Hello to 
came back. He didn't even touch his food and he left. Seriously. It's okay. it's okay. This doesn't make sense to me at all. Which kind of emergency would they call you like midnight? Like, he didn't even change his blood. Like, seriously? When he comes back, I'll ask him. Relax. You can peacefully ask him later. Marcus, who was that? And what do you mean? What are you trying to insinuate? I don't know whether you are now a counselor or what. Don't forget she's your brother's girlfriend. You are always on the phone with her. Even when you are sleeping. I don't know, I don't know the sleeping thing. Like I don't know what you guys are talking about. You just leave me hanging, come outside and talk to her. Why are you guys hiding from me? What? Dilly. Joy, stop! I've been tolerating this nonsense for a long time now. I want your brother to solve his own problems. Even the problems I have in this house, we are not even that solving it. Are you a counselor? I don't even know where you are trying to play the role of a caring man to replace your brother. That is harsh. How could you say that? Excuse me. I'll be inside. Oh, no. Don't worry, I'll be trying. So you can say all these things to your man? I said that because his actions are strange to me. And moreover, men can do anything. Can't you behave yourself for once? That man is a good man. Nobody will tolerate that drama of yours. You see, he left the food I wasted time to cook. You are beginning to piss me off. Why are you so insensitive? So you were expecting him to sit on the table with you after all you said to him? Oh yes, he's the man and he needs to behave as such. He can't be the man now. Do you know why? Tell me. Because you were not a woman enough. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. That girl is your ex-girlfriend. I don't know the reason why she still calls you. Dini, calm down your voice. No, I won't. He needs to explain why the ex calls you. It's good you know she's my ex, and not my girlfriend. You think it's fun, right? Will you be happy if I do the same to you? After everything that lady did to you, she still calls you. She's my ex, and not my enemy. And moreover, you don't know why she called. She needs to give you a break, Marcus. We are getting married in two months, two months. She never stopped me. From getting married to you. I won't sit for her to say it first. She belongs to your past and so be it. What you are doing is like you are just fighting the air. Moreover, she just called for a friend's number. Whatever. Joy. Let me ask you this. For how long have you been friend with Dilly? For a very long time. She has been my friend since childhood. Wow. <laughs> I wonder how she learns nothing from you. I promise she will change. Just have some small time for her. I don't blame her. 
because new broom sweeps clean and she will soon know how many beans makes five. I like to be educated, but I'm so frustrated. Hello to my loneliness. I guess that ignorance is bliss. Take me back to before the new. The wine, take it out of cue. Innocence can be a young man's game. Signed up for the hall of shame. I wish I knew. At this stage, it is so obvious you don't know what you want. What do you mean? Look, the last time I had a call and I went out, you tagged that as cheat. And now that I am sitting right in front of you, for you to even hear what I am saying, you are, you are calling this disrespect? Yes, I did. You won't be happy if I do that to you. Have I ever asked you about the cause you the fact that you don't ask me doesn't mean I shouldn't ask you. Then ask tangible questions. Seriously? Yes. Really? Reasonable questions. Yes, really. I like to be educated, but I'm so frustrated. Hello to my loneliness. I guess that ignorance is bliss. The normal Marco side. Can't they go inside and see what is wrong with him? Go inside. It's obviously he sees no human in this house. I keep on telling you, men hate to stay where there is no peace. Before you realize, he's gone already. Gone to where? You are funny. I might look funny, but this is not magic. This thing happens all the time. I always tell you that he needs this marriage more than I do. You think so? I know so. And moreover, is he the only man on earth? Life still goes on. Wow, you are making me feel like immaturity is your problem. What do you mean? Are you trying to insult me? I should be rather angry, not you. You think there are a million men there, so you get his type. Yes. I only want the best for you. Too much of jealousy is called stupidity. Why do you always stand by him and make me feel bad? A few months to your wedding and we both know how long you have waited for this. And you think Marcus can call off this wedding because of my behavior? Almost 90% men marry because of behavior. So he can quit because of your behavior. Sweetheart, let me escort to you why. Really, Dilly, don't say I didn't want you. He is not welcome, my dear. Marcus, where are you coming from? I'm coming from work. Do you think I'm a fool? What says the time? Look, enough of this bullshit. What? Bullshit? Yes, I did. No, I just want to understand what is going on here. Do I look like your son or your brother? Marcus, calm down. Let me make this crystal clear to you. I am tired of this nonsense you call jealousy. You seem to have problem with whatever I do. You talk to me anyhow. All in the name of love. Marcus, Shut up. You don't talk when I'm talking. You even know what makes a woman. You can have the most beautiful skin, wear the most expensive clothes, and put on the best perfume in the, in the world. 
and you will still stink if you have this bad character. I am giving you up to tomorrow evening to pack your stuff, pack your luggage, and leave my house with your disrespectful attitude. <sighs> I have been patient for a while, you have taken me for granted. I have spoken, and so be it. Marcus! One more word from you, and I will be your worst nightmare. 